In a previous class, we learned about alert and confirm, but now what if we want to prompt the user for some input? Now that's the hint right there. We would prompt them. By doing that, we use the prompt function. So here it is, and it has two parameters. So a parameter would be something like this, where we have the first parameter, second parameter, third parameter, etc. It goes on and on. We can have 200, 500, 1. But prompt only has two your text and your default value. So text is what you would like to ask, and that's going to be your text that shows up, and the default value. The default value is the text that's going to be pre-written in the form for the user. Looking at the code, we have script. Instead of alert or confirm, we use prompt. We have quotations around our first parameter. We just wrote, how old are you? Now to get into the second parameter, we have to make sure that this is all closed off. And by closed off, I mean we have an opening and a closing quotation followed by a comma. After that comma, we can use another opening and closing quotation, and we can insert our default value here, or the second parameter. Now to demo this, this is what it will show up with. How old are you? Which is our first parameter down here. And doesn't matter, which is our second parameter. And of course, we can change that to anything we like. So to officially go over what a parameter is, a parameter, often shorthand as param, param, people say it different, it's whatever you're comfortable with. So a parameter is a set of answers that a function can accept. Like alert and confirm only had one parameter, but prompt has two parameters. It accepts text and default, where alert and confirm only accepted what we want to alert or confirm the user with. Once again, like confirm, this code is completely useless unless we can harvest the user's information. We can apply the code that we use with confirm to prompt. So variable p for prompt, and I just commented here that this is a blank default value, which means there's nothing in here. Basically what that's going to do is when the person is prompted, there's not going to be any text inside that text area. So if p is equal to true, so if our prompt is true, p is going to become what we wrote and it's going to write p is your age. If p is equal to fault, we're going to alert them and say no input was typed. As a demo, here it goes. How old are you? So uh, I can put anything I like here. I could put 12. 12 is your age is what it's going to show up with. Now what if I click cancel? No input was typed. Now let's try this again. What if I don't type anything in here? What happens? No input was typed. That means that our prompt turned out to be false because we put nothing in there. What happened when we input our text and variable p became our text instead of the prompt function? That's not really important right now. The if and else statement, also not important. So I really just wanted to show you how the two parameters work. First one, again, quotes on either side. That's going to be your text that shows up. If we don't want any text to be our default value, which is the text that's inside of the text area, then we just leave this blank. We just go quote, quote. Example. I can put anything in here. Now, albeit this isn't a very advanced script, but it does work still. It says, I can put anything in here is your age. So this will not filter out just numbers. It will put any value you put in there. We'll hit the whole integer floating strings, variables in a little while. But for now, I just wanted to show you the two parameters and how prompt works.